Hi everybody, my name is Dr. Mary McGlasson, Economics Faculty at Chandler Gilbert Community College in Chandler, Arizona. I've actually been teaching economics for over 20 years and the last 17 or so at the community college. Being at the community college was really a deliberate choice on my part because I've always wanted to teach and I didn't want to be at a university where the focus was on research. I decided I'd rather be at the community college where the focus is really on the student and on teaching and on learning. So um, I've got a really pretty good job and it's been a good fit for me for the last 17 years. Some of you may know me not as Mary McGlasson, but as MJM Foodie if you have seen my work on YouTube because a few years ago I started teaching hybrid courses. They're half online and half face-to-face -face courses at the college and I decided that in order to do that, since I was cutting the face time in half, I really wanted the students to get the lecture content on their own time in the online portion. So the only way I could see to do that and be true to the way that I teach is to create a series of videos, which I've done, and those are all up on YouTube for both the microeconomics principles and macroeconomics principles courses. And of course, I originally intended that just for my own students, but uh, I was very surprised the way that it seemed to take off. I get communication from people all over the U.S. and really all over the world. Often people are requesting the transcripts because perhaps they want to translate it into their own language or they want the video files because they have issues at their school with connectivity. Maybe um, YouTube could be blocked at the school or just the internet connection isn't that good. So I thought that an interesting idea would be to gather all the videos and put them into an interactive ebook where you could download the book and then watch the videos offline. So that's what this project really is about. Of course, the books contain not only the videos, but also basically I use the transcripts of the videos as the text portion of the book. In addition to having the videos and the transcript in there, there are also interactive elements like slideshows, which I tend to use when it's something that needs to be explained just a little more in depth than I can go sort of one picture at a time and give explanation of that. And sometimes interactive images where you can take a closer look at different components in a graph. And one feature that I think may be most valuable for students is the fact that I've included review questions at the end of each chapter in here that is after each one of the videos. So hopefully you'll download the book and go Go take a look for yourself, but I did want to give a brief overview of the book content. This particular book is the first book in a seven book series for microeconomics. And I'm going to switch over to my table of contents here for a second. So this is book one, the Introduction to Economics book, which covers the basics like the definition of economics and scarcity and choice and resources all the way up through production possibilities and opportunity cost. There will be six subsequent books in the microeconomic series. In addition to the Introduction to Economics book, there's a Markets book, a consumer theory book, a producer theory book, a market structures book that's really an overview of market structures and then a little bit more in-depth look at a competitive market. Then there is an additional market structures book which will have the less competitive markets. And then finally, I will have a book on market failures. So altogether, there will be seven books in the series, and this is the first. And what I'd like to do in this first book is just to give you a feel for some of the features that are in here. I am going to pick a video chapter here that has actually, I think, most of the features. I'm going to try the production possibilities because that particular video chapter has a lot of the interactive features that I described earlier. Certainly, every one of these includes um, an important facts where I give the basics of what I would like to see people, the key elements from the chapter. Then also, every one of these has a video inside the chapter. And you can play the video once you've downloaded the book. You can play this offline so you don't have to worry about the connectivity issues. So I can just hit play and the video is going to start. Okay, you can also watch it full screen if you'd like. Or take it back and watch it inside with the text accompanying. So whichever you prefer. Uh, you may recognize some of the images that have been in the videos. 
As I said earlier, there are slideshows, especially when I am building a new model. So for example, here, when I do my first production possibilities model, I have a series of slides here that would show you how to build the production possibilities curve. As I go through them, you can see that not only does the slide change, but the caption at the bottom changes as well to describe what's going on in each slide. If I tap it again, I can look at it in full screen view. And again, the caption is still there so that you can see what's going on. Or I can go back and look at it within the page so that I can be looking at the slides and reading through the text that goes along with it. Another interactive element that exists in the book is interactive images. So for example, this interactive production possibilities curve, if I take a look at this, this illustrates different points on this graph in this model and what they mean. If I need more detail, well, I don't remember what an exterior point shows me. I just click on the exterior point and it gives me more detail. Points on the PPC gives me a little bit more explanation or I can look at interior points. So each one of these can give me a little more detailed explanation of a point anywhere on the graph. In addition to the interactives that are available, at the end of each section I do have review questions for your students. You can just scroll through these and answer. Check your answer. Oh, I didn't get that one right. I can try again and then I got it right the second time. So you can go in, check your answers. I'm just going to kind of randomly pick here. Hmm. I'm not doing very well on my own quiz. Probably help if I read the questions. Okay, and the reason I'm going through each one of these for you is so that I can show you at the end, it tells you how many you got correct. If I only got four out of 10, that's probably not so great. I can start over and go back to the beginning and try the review questions again. So I really think that this will be a powerful tool for students between being able to watch the videos at their own pace, having the transcript information there, having the interactives with the slideshows and the diagrams and the review questions at the end. There is one more feature that I would like to show you that I will have in each of these books, and that is that there is a glossary that goes along with each one. If I go to the glossary, I'm going to see that all the terms from this first section are there. If I pick any term, like I will pick efficiency, I get the definition of efficiency. What's nice is that I also get a cross listing of related glossary terms. So if I kind of get efficiency, but maybe I would like to look up one of the related terms, let's say inefficiency, I can choose that. And then I have the definition of inefficiency that I can look at. So these things can be cross listed and you can look them up if you need to see what the related terms look like. I really hope that you will take a look at these books and that it's something that you are going to find useful.